Good morning and welcome to Unicorn Square. My name is Bridget and this is in my fairy workshop that we are today and it's really fun to be here. Today we're going to be choosing the fairy of the day and it's very exciting every day we get to choose a fairy and see what message the fairy has to bring to us today. So today we're going to look at um, this one. It's really special and awesome. This is our uh, Butterfly fairy, or pink butterfly fairy. She has a lot to say. Her arms are out open, lavender in its hat, and then in the messenger tube, in the wings, you can exchange messages back and forth with your fairy, which is really exciting and fun. Um, so I hand sew all of these based off of the pattern for my great grandmother's original fairy. And so every day I get to add in all kinds of new fairies. Um, I have two of these, but this one we're gonna choose a message and a crystal to go with the fairy, and we'll see what she has to say. This is really very fun. Okay, so I'm gonna set this guy. <laughs> it's always so fun. I'm gonna set her right in this. You can just see the hat. Wait a minute. Let me put a little. There we go. How about that? Yeah. Ooh, that's perfect. Totally just chilling. It's really exciting. So today we're gonna work with some butterflies because it's always fun to see what butterflies have to say and uh, to match up with the butterfly message on the fairy. And we'll take a look and see what we have today from the fairies and the butterflies. Okay. And, oh, this is exciting. So we have um, all kinds of good cards. We're gonna draw another one to get a little clarification. Yep, we have some big changes happening and getting some rest. Um, balancing your emotions and um, changes yeah so what we're gonna do is where's my little I have one of every single crystal inside this bag and we're gonna choose a crystal that goes with this message from the fairies let's see all kinds of changes happening and it's gonna say let's go with an Amazonite Ooh. How about, well, this is a really crazy thing because you know what, what she's sitting in? She's sitting in a bowl of Amazonite. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. So it's a soothing stone. Here we are. And it calms your brain and your nervous system and aids in maintaining optimum health. And we do have some health care that came in. Um, it balances your masculine and feminine energies and it helps you see both sides of a problem or a different point of view. It has healing powers to help with physical ailments. That's some of the changes that we have, emotional issues and um, energy healing <clears throat> and energy healing. And we had a card that came up with emotions. How about that? Uh, it Crystal therapy, Amazonite, Amazonite, they're primarily associated with filtering out stress, healing traumas and soothing energies in the home and workplace. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So this today's fairy is gonna have one because I'm kind of blown away with, here, I'll just show you. Here she, here, and this is what it's been sitting in and that is what I randomly draw, drew from the bag of a ton of different crystals, um, which is blowing my mind. So this is our Amazonite fairy, our transformation. Wow, how about that? Today's a fast one. That's blowing my mind. Wow, and it's so soothing and awesome. I'm really happy that that's what we chose, and I think that our fairy is as well. That is really something else. All right, now, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and please share with your friends. And um, it's always really fun to check in with the fairies every day. And now I'm off. It's a short video today because it's a snow day. I'm gonna pop over to, I think, Instagram and Facebook and do some live events. And then I have a lot of fairies to sew. I just dyed all the fabric and I think my hands are a little purple from dyeing the face, the fabric for the faces. So that was my morning project. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. Now is one extra bonus item of something to chat about. Don't forget about my fun unicorn horns. These are always very exciting for listening to the true story of the unicorn. I make these beautiful little holders. I just had two of them went, that went to Germany, which is exciting. Um, and they're named after um, the unicorn horns are selenite. 
named after the Greek moon goddess Selene. And uh, they're named like that for their moon-like glow. The unicorns shed their horns every full moon and I gather them. And if you sit in nature and hold them in the palm of your hand, close your eyes, and breathe deeply three times, you'll hear the true story of the unicorn. Sometimes it's a short story, sometimes it's a long story, but the gift is being out in nature and seeing what the unicorn has to tell you, which I think is super special. So um, definitely check this out. Um, and this is on my website, unicornsquare.com, and uh, I'll also include information to take a look at that as well on my website, um, or on this page on YouTube. But definitely please like and subscribe, share, and um, thank you so much for joining in today. It is very much appreciated, and the fairies thank you as well, and we'll see you tomorrow.